students uh, have been trying to move to Canada using third countries but uh, due to the travel ban most of the students were unable to uh, travel to Canada so in the morning while I was on Facebook I just saw one of the guys reach to Vancouver uh, using Serbia as a third country and uh, along with that I also uh, came to know that there is a uh, new route via Frankfurt so I have clipped all the routes so far uh, what I have known and uh, what all the documents you need and what are the rules and policies uh, those countries have and all those things uh, I have listed down and I have prepared a PPT for you. Let's go for the screen share. I have prepared few slides. Uh, whatever the routes I have known so far and uh, I have spoke with one of the person he recently travelled via Serbia so I have uh, got the information from him and uh, I have gathered all the three routes uh, whatever I know so the first route uh, if you, you have subscribed to my channel or you have been seeing my videos I have already made a video on this about my travel plan because I travelled via Egypt but anyhow just to have some uh, information on this i have uh, prepared the ppt again so let's see the plan so let's start with in india so you must have an rtpcr test with a validity of 48 hours and uh, i have shared the lab details where you can get your tested results in less than eight hours so they have multiple services and when you open the site if you go to the bottom of the page you can see their whatsapp numbers also uh, that's a uh, 24 by 7 service in a WhatsApp and uh, the cancellation policies I mentioned here uh, it's regarding our travel plan so the travel agent Rhea Travels has some cancellation policies and those are these uh, policies like when you tested positive prior to 24 hours of your departure or if you if you try cancel the trip by yourself, you'll be getting 25% of the amount what you have paid to them. But within 24 hours, even if you are tested positive or if you cancel trip by yourself, you will be getting getting nothing. So that's a whole loss, guys. Uh, make sure you uh, remember the policies. And when we land in Muscat, uh, we have a layover of three. We have a layover of three and a half hours and uh, we don't need any RTPCR test here because we already have uh, one from India right so then after three hours layover time we'll be boarding Oman Airways again uh, to go to Cairo so once we land in Cairo immediately RTPCR test will be uh, conducted there it's a rapid RTPCR test and here one more thing we need to remember if someone tested positive there they have to immediately return back to India on their own expenses and we were there on tourist visa for four days and uh, on the second day we are given RTPCR test again because we need this RTPCR test when we were in Cairo so that we can show that in Toronto airport when we land in Canada and uh, again one more point noted here if someone tested positive uh, before boarding the flight to Toronto they they will have a return ticket they have to use that return ticket and they have to get back to India so this is the plan uh, what we we have booked with Ria Travels and uh, the total cost was 150 and uh, it was varying guys because uh, not only Ria Travels were booking the tickets they were they have given uh, to some other third parties also so they were charging a bit more and it uh, went down till 178 I remember so yeah that's one of the indirect route but unfortunately it's not operational now so let's hope for the best and uh, the second route which is via frankfurt and this route is again chosen by rare travels again so they have opened uh, their bookings for the flight which was scheduled on june 9th so if you are interested and if you want to go this route you can just reach them the travel agent name is Ria Travels and they have branches uh, in multiple cities like Bangalore, Chennai, Hyderabad and uh, Cochin so you can reach them and as a, as a travel agent is uh, the same 
we don't have any change in the policies so the same policies uh, will be uh, apply here also but few changes here in the muscat airport they'll be doing an rt pcr test uh, and if someone tested positive there they have to stay there for 3 to 10 days quarantine and it depends on the rules of that government so based on that it may vary till 10 days and it has to be on their own expenses and uh, they have given a prime lounge access in muscat with unlimited food and beverages because uh, there is a huge delay between the connecting flights in muscat uh, if you see the schedule on here they have scheduled on june 9th hyderabad to muscat and it's in the morning 10:30 am and when you land in muscat uh again you have a flight at 2 am early in the morning so that's the reason they have given you the prime lounge access because you have to stay for the whole night there and uh, once you land in frankfurt uh, there is no rt pcr test because frankfurt has no rt pcr test availability and uh, anyhow you will be having an rt pcr test result from india which will be valid for uh, 48 hours so once you land in toronto you can show the same report so this is the new plan guys uh, if you are interested try to register your travels or you can uh, ask me in the comment section if you have any questions regarding the contact details and all those things i will try to share with them so here i am not promoting uh, rare travels because uh, you have been hearing a lot that i am saying about rare travels but uh, i am just sharing the route uh, so that it may reach multiple uh, audience and the final route which i recently came to know in the morning that is to serbia um one of the guy use uh, the serbia route to travel to vancouver that's the reason i have mentioned vancouver and uh, so in the bangalore he have taken the rt pcr test and uh, the whole ticket price was 44000 uh, in the lufthansa lufthansa airways uh, this journey is bit complex guys because he traveled almost three countries to reach vancouver from india and uh, here lufthansa allows only one bag so he paid uh, an additional charges for the extra bag it seems and uh, he have an layover of 8 hours at frankfurt airport so uh, for germany we don't need any transit visa so rt pcr is also not uh, required here so he after layover time of 8 hours then he boarded flight to serbia and uh, when he land in serbia there is a rule that his uh departure rt pcr test should be valid with the 48 hours so again here transit visa is not required uh you must have an onward connecting flights so you should have the whole journey with you let's say you you started your departure in india and you should have the tickets till vancouver you should show them all the onward uh, flight tickets to them and uh, make sure you plan your rt pcr test in serbia so that it will have a validity of 72 hours until you land in uh, toronto so sometimes you may not able to find flights when you are booking tickets from india right so make sure you book tickets so that you will have uh, 72 hours of validity of your rt pcr for the next connecting flight from serbia so next so from serbia uh he have a turkish airways and he went to istanbul so at istanbul uh, i think looks like they were a bit strict and they were asking for multiple documents they were asking for loa enrollment letters course schedule and most of the uh, countries was not availing travel most of the countries were not asking for travel support letters but looks like uh, here they are asking so try to get a uh, travel support letter also from the college and you can show the rt pcr test what you took uh, from serbia with a validity of 72 hours and uh, below you just have make note of these two points as i mentioned in the previous slide you have to 
plan all the onward tickets till the destination and uh, make sure you be honest and don't try to cook up the stories guys just tell them that you are uh, going to vancouver using serbia so yeah these are the indirect routes so far i have covered and uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comment section i'll try to answer uh, most of them please subscribe guys thank you